Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain the raindrop near vision inlay because this is a great new technology that's available for patients who have trouble seeing up close. Now, medically, we call this presbyopia, or age-related focus dysfunction. It happens to everyone, starting in the 40s, and usually by age 45, people will notice that they can no longer focus to see comfortably at an up-close distance, and they have to start using reading glasses, or they have to have bifocals placed at the bottom of their glasses. The way that this inlay works is that it's placed in the cornea just underneath the surface in the front of the eye. It's very small, very thin, and is very biocompatible, and it helps to change the shape of the cornea in order to boost the up-close vision in one of the patient's eyes. Now, this is only done in one eye. The other eye is uh, left alone to keep good distance vision, and then between both eyes, it can give a full range of vision from up-close to far away. This very small inlay is actually placed underneath a flap in the cornea that is created very similar to how we create a flap for LASIK. So a laser is used in order to create the flap which is lifted up. The inlay is placed right in the center of the cornea and then the flaps are replaced. The procedure takes about 10 minutes or less and afterwards, once patients get a chance to recover, then they can notice significantly better up-close vision, including being able to read, and even um, most people can read fine print with it, and also it boosts intermediate range vision, which we would say kind of like the distance for a desktop computer. This is now available for patients in between age 41 and 65 who are noticing trouble with their up-close vision, uh, but in order for the people to qualify, they also have to have pretty good distance vision to begin with. So that means that they don't need much prescription in order to see distance. Maybe they haven't wore glasses most of their life until they're running into this problem with presbyopia or their up-close vision. Uh, also, it works best when patients don't have much astigmatism. And also, we know that it works when patients can see better, when they have a little bit of help for uh, reading. So that's the target to get the improvement. So we're very excited about this technology. If you have any questions, please post and we'll be happy to answer them. Hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.